Trip Reviews is an extension for a WB Travel Engine that allows a tour operator or a travel agency to add authentic trip reviews onto their website. In this video, I will walk you through the step-by-step -step installation process and setup guide of the Trip Reviews add-on plugin. Please note that Trip Reviews requires WP Travel Engine plugin installed. Let's get started. First, you need to log in to your WordPress admin dashboard. Now, navigate to plugins and click on Add New. Click on Upload Plugin. Click on Choose File. Select the zip file that you downloaded earlier. Click on Open. Click on Install Now. Click on Activate Plugin. The WP Travel Engine Trip Reviews add-on is now successfully installed and activated. Next up, I will show you how you can set up and use the Trip Reviews add-on on your website. First, you need to navigate to WP Travel Engine. Then, you have to click on the plugin license. Here, you have to enter the license key that you received during the download of the add-on. Your license key looks something like this. Click on Save Changes. Then, click on Activate License. By activating the add-on license, you can receive regular updates from our team. Now, to access the global settings for trip reviews, from under WP Travel Engine, you have to click on Settings. Go to Extensions and go to Trip Reviews. Here, you will find a bunch of settings for the Trip Reviews add-on. We will come back to these settings later on. For now, I want you to move your attention to Trip Reviews menu. As soon as you install and activate the Trip Reviews add-on, it adds a review tab as well as the Trip Reviews sub-menu. Before exploring the Trip Reviews menu, I will open our site in the incognito mode and I will create a review for one of our trips without being logged in as an admin. So let's go to trips and I will create a review for the first trip. Scroll down. You will see that one more tab is already added and that is the review tab. Scroll down and you will see the review form. Let's create a review as a visitor from here. I have created a review here in the review form. Your users will be able to rate the trip. They will be able to add a title as well as the description. They will be able to add the name, the trip experience date, their email address, as well as the website. If they wish to add in the files related to the trips, then they can drag and drop the file over here. Then they also have the option to check in or uncheck this option. Then when they click on the submit button, The review is created. Now, let's go back to the dashboard. From under WP Travel Engine, click on Trip Reviews. Under Trip Reviews, you will find two different tabs. The first is the Trip Reviews and second is the Trip Reviews form. After a review has been submitted by a user, admin can approve or unapprove the trip reviews in the trip reviews tab. To demonstrate an example, this is the review that I just created. Now as an admin, you can approve, spam or edit the reviews that are submitted by users from the front end. You have to click on the respective buttons to complete the required action. So now if I want to approve this review, I have to click on approve. 
As you can see, the review has now been approved. Now, if you open our site in the front end, go to the same first trip, scroll down and go to the reviews tab, you will see the recently added review is now showing under the trip after the approval from the admin. Let's go back. You can also mark the reviews as spam or you can edit the reviews. You can simply click on edit and you can easily edit the reviews that are made by your users. You can change the name, email, review title, rating, date of experience and other information of your user review. Let's go back. Also, for the reviews that are not approved, it shows not approved. Since I just clicked on edit for this review, it is showing not approved. So let's approve this review once again, which will now show as the approved review. The second tab is the trip review form. This helps you to create a trip review form from your user dashboard. This feature is very helpful if you want to collect reviews from users off-site and post them on-site on behalf of customers. You just have to fill in all of the details. Then you have to click on Add Review, which will then show the review on the front end. Also, under Trip Reviews, you will find the shortcodes to display trip reviews for individual or all trips in tabs or trip content or pages. Let me demonstrate an example. Let's say that I want to display all of these reviews in a page. So for that, I will have to use the second shortcode. Copy it. Go to pages and create a new page. Let's open the link in the new tab. Let's add in the page name as trip reviews. Now paste in the shortcode. Click on publish. Now let's view this page in the new tab. And you will see all of the trip reviews are listed on this page. You can follow the same process for the first shortcode. Next, let's configure the global settings for trip reviews. From under WP Travel Engine, let's go to Settings, go to Extensions, then go to Trip Reviews. The first two options are to hide or show trip reviews and trip review form. For now, both the trip reviews as well as the trip form are displaying. If you choose to enable to hide the trip reviews and trip review form, click on save and continue, go back to the trip and give it a refresh. You will see that the trip reviews as well as the trip form is now hidden. Let's go back and We will disable the options, which will then show the trip reviews and trip review form once again. Next options are review labels. This option allows you to edit the default labels of the review section from here. Let me show you an example. So for now, let's save the changes that we have just made. Give your site a refresh which will display the reviews as well as the review form. Back to our dashboard. So for now, the excellent review label is excellent, which is also the label that is showing on the front end. So instead of excellent, let's add in a different label. Simply remove the label that is already here, then add in the label of your choice. Let's add in the label as amazing. Click on save and continue. Go back and give your site a refresh. Go to the review tab once again and you will see the label has now changed. I'm going to set it back to excellent. 
Next, you can also enable to show the trip review emoticons. If you enable this option, click on save and continue. Go back to your front end and give it a refresh. Go to review and you will see the emoticons enabled for each of the reviews. Let's go back. The next option is to show or hide the fields. You can show or hide the experience date, gallery, review tour, and client location from here. These are the fields that show in the review form. You can choose to enable all of them. Click on save and continue. Go back to the front end. Give your site a refresh. Go to review. And here, all of the fields that you have disabled are not showing anymore. But if you go back and choose to show all of the fields by disabling the toggles, click on save and continue. Go back to your front end, give it a refresh. Go to the review tab. You will see that the fields are once again showing on the review form. If you have any questions or confusions regarding this add-on, please do let me know in the comment section below or you can directly reach out to our support team. I have added the link to creating support ticket in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.